What's going on YouTube? It's the Franz, and we're back again with RPG Maker Fest. Let's make a game part four. As I promised, this time we are going to. Don't worry about. Alright, yeah, don't worry about the game above. We're on this one down here. And we are going to get to work on it. As I promised, we are going to reveal the name of our starting level now, since. And. Oh, well, yeah, wrong one, database. And it is a good one. I thought it was a really cool name. There's other names on there that I really like too. But we are going to go with. Origin Forest. Now, we come in here where we start. And I gotta go all the way up. You're here, and then of course, we're gonna come down here. Not this one. Or this one. I wanna go up here, yeah. We're gonna do a little something here too. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to make an event. Oh, we're already on the event thing. Whoops. So yes, we're going to make a nice little event for this, just to, um, for the heck of it. Create the event. We're going to make no graphic. We are going to take off past judgment, or it just won't work. You'll be stuck there. And we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is we're going to come here and go to the condition controls and go to emote um, expression. It's going to be the hero, and we're going to pick the looping ones. I still have to figure out how to stop the looping ones. But for now, we're going to go with this. Then, of course, we're going to come and add a message. Which, we're not going to put a graphic yet, because our graphic isn't set to what I want it to be. I'm not going to, we're not going to stick with the character we have right now. We're going to come to that later. But for now, we're going to do... I can yes off the table, off the desk. Do this better and go with. Um. I'm gonna go with where am I? Oh, hold on. I gotta have a. Have a question mark on that. And then what we're going to do, and this is a really cool thing too that I learned how to do. We're gonna come here, we're gonna go down to the uh, go to I think it's in here still. Yeah, hair movement, we're gonna go and fake movement is tracks movements already exist or multiple start locations do exist due to facing the We're gonna go from here. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go down one and go up, and then bam. And we can preview that. And boom, there you go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come back down here. We're going to do. We're gonna do another motion expression, and this time we're going to hero again, of course. And do doubtful, which is a question mark. And the last thing we're going to put on here before we do this is, of course, we're going to go message and type in maybe this. No. Nope, wrong one. And of course, we're going to come back later and change to something else, but we'll just do that for now. And of course, what we're going to need to add to make sure that it is over after that is we're going to put a switch on here. Switches are needed to make it so that you, if you want the event to end, like this event we want to end, and so no switch is done yet, which I found really weird, we're going to put switch 1, confirm, and then what you need to do to make sure that switch is usable Let's go back out here, the middle one, add page, and then come down here, it's this one, and switch is on, click the switch one, and I believe I had this right, I'm hoping. Let's press play to find out if I did. I'm over here, as you can see above me. Where am I? Maybe this sign has a clue. 
And since this sign already has an event, and I'll show it off here in a second, all I do is hit A, Origin Forest, named by YouTuber Ginger Revenger, and then we can move on. And, let's see. Oh, uh, yep, I got to turn the past judgment on. See, as you can see, I couldn't go past this event. That's because, on the second page, Patch Judgment was on. After the event is over, like, I could walk to and fro there if it wasn't for the second page, but now, we can always test play again. Oh, that's the wrong button, that's just a save. We can test play again, and this time we should be able to move back afterwards. The music I'm not 100% I'm not on. And then come around. Maybe this sign has a clue. Origin Forest. Named by YouTuber Ginger Avenger. Again, thank you Ginger Avenger for the suggestion. It is now officially in the game. And now we're able to pass that. And as we go and as we walk this way, we should not have that again as long as we're playing this version of the game. Now, that event is over. We have done it. It's over with. It's not going to pop up again. Which is a great thing. And then you have... This, you have your all party members here because there will be monsters for you to fight in between here and there. You have all the way around here. And then, what is this? How do you get out of here? That's what we're going to do right now. Well, actually, first off, see, we have ourselves, and this is the little, the, when you're using sign, it's a little tricky too, simply because I'm going to show you. Usually when you put a sign out, when you first do a sign, the collision will be down here instead of up here. This part is actually collision free. I'll show you in a second. Let me uh, go to edit map. Let me find the signs. Here they are. Signs are in two parts, bottom and top. Then I put a sign over here. Now if I go to the collision, the bottom is collision free for whatever reason. They put the bottom collision free and not the top. So if I want to look at that sign, I kind of can't do that because it's collision free. Can I get rid of that now? Nope. i just do it the other way then. So that's all we needed for that now. This way. What is that? It looks like a puddle of water, which I've never used before. Now this. Is going to go in here. Might make this a little bit smaller, but bam. But for now, we don't have any way for us to actually get out because we're going to not be going to the same place we were before. In the overworld, we need to actually work on that eventually. But what we need to right now, what we're going to do is actually go back out and we're going to start working on some monsters for this. The first monster I'm going to work on is how it's going to be something else. I'm going to take one of those samples, which they have a bunch. You have slime, bat, rat, mushroom, goblin, snake, and so on and so forth. But there's a lot more monster clip art for you to use that you don't have, that they don't have samples for. But for now, we're going to get a kobold. And we're going to look at him. 80 HP, 10 MP, 42 attack, 35 physical defense. I think we're going to make this... I'm gonna cut this down because he's going to be the he's going you'll see in a minute. Fifty-five and confirm. No, that's confirm. Okay, what we're going to do now, this is what I like to do because I've done it before. Now we can go back out and go to advanced settings, go back to the origin forest as it is named now. I actually like that name. And yeah, this is it right here. We're going to create an event right here. I believe we have a graphic for him. I hope we do. Let me see here. They have a Chimera. They don't have a Cobalt. They think they, they thought they did. Okay, Cobalt might not be a good idea. These guys will come later, maybe. Hmm. What is that? Huh. I got a Kraken. A Dragon. Let me see. That. Oh, what 
What is that? I have no idea what that is. Looks like a goblin. Maybe. No, the goblin's up here. No, we could just do a mini goblin, but I don't want to do a goblin. I want to do something that's like... Good. Alright, the cobalt's not going to happen because we don't have an actual... We actually don't have an actual... No, I don't want to do a cyclops because that's too early. I don't want to do a cyclops yet. No, I don't want to do death or one of these things. This is one thing, now, this is a big negative, I think, of this right now, is, like, if you wanted to do what I'm trying to do here with any of the monsters they give you with, they don't have a sprite for every monster. They only have a few. Ghost, I have no idea what that thing is. <sighs> I don't think, I'm not going to use those, not that. we use a skeleton, I guess. We're just going to go with that one. We're going to turn it. That way, and then we'll come back to that in a minute because I gotta change that up. And as you can see, he'll be there. And go back to the monsters thing. So the cobalt I was hoping to use as my thing, as my as the like first mini boss of sorts, but he's not available. Now what I'm going to do is go back to samples and pick out a cobalt. Well, you know what? No. Let's see what we have. We have a skeleton. Yes. Uh, I believe that's the one we picked. HP is too high. We'll change that. Yeah, it was a skeleton. So we're going to knock that down to 55. There will be other monsters that you, of course, will face as you go along in this. But this will be your first boss. Attack of... We want to put that down to 35. I'm... I will do a test run to see what level you have to be to be able to beat this guy when we get to that. Physical defense of 30. Yeah, we'll do 30 for now. Experience of 50. Gold good. Speed of 15. No, he's a skeleton. He's not supposed to be that fast anyway. I'll do 15. And what's really nice is actually, don't want to do that. What's really nice is if you go to your character sprite or your character mic, you can always just, like, if you want to, because you don't have to start at level one, you could come in here and change the level to whatever you want. And the highest you could go is 99. Let's see, what you would have 99 attack, 99, 99, because he's got no profession yet. Level one for now. We're going to need to add him with a profession. We have Swordsman for now, so we're just going to give him Swordsman. We'll add a bio and stuff later. If you guys have any idea what you want his bio to be, give me a, give me a comment in the section down below, and we can have that figured out. Now, we don't have any armor, but we do have a weapon on our guy, and I have no defensive weapons. Okay. I'm going to make one of those, too. I didn't mean to discard that, so we need profession. Swordsman. I like the fact that they have a generating nickname. Odd Shield, Holy Prophet, Alchemist, Godly Mage, Heavy Heavenly Bolt, Engineer, Body Double, True Sniper, Gift of God, Odd Shield, they keep going. Wind Hero, Rude Knight. Let me see. We'll just put Dreamer for now, that works. So at least he has some kind of level thing. So if you go back in there, of course, we can just see that with the swordsman right now, he could be 99. And he would have 693 attack and all that if you have to level 99. Now, I honestly don't think you'll ever see a video game on here made where you're going to have your character go all the way to 99. But it is what it is. So, let's pull this back out. Let's go to the database, and we got to make a defensive item. We're just doing samples for now because we're not ready for any of that stuff. Yet. We're just going to grab ourselves a leather armor, and leave it there. We can test play this right now. Because everything connects that needs to, we just go... Of course, he's not ready to fight you because I ain't got that set up yet. 
you know, a nice little cutscene here, which I think is pretty cool. Let me know what you think about this cutscene in the comment section below. Fortune Force, named by YouTuber Ginger Avenger, and we move on. This, of course, when you go here, bam, all party members healed, works well. And there's our skeleton. Now, in order to make him so he will fight you, and make him so he gets out of the way, what you're going to need to do is come back here, go to edit. If you want to, you can... You can just do battling, and you can just make it so it gets you... Which... I like to use... I don't like to use all the time, unless it's something like maybe stairs, or walking from to and from places. I don't like having the um, start when t character touches. I like to investigate, especially when it comes to a character like this, or a treasure chest or something like that, if I'm creating one. What you can do real simple is, you just come here if you want to do this right, and... Hit battle, come in here, you go unit, skeleton, because I don't have a terrain set to him, we'll come here and just go, where's the forest one, there it is, we'll just click forest, background music, we'll go with battle, well, we'll go battle 2, simply because he's like a, well, actually no, he's a boss, so, what boss battle 1, confirm, and... Then, of course, what you want to do is add a switch, so when he dies, he's not stuck there, and you're fighting him over and over and over again, and you want to do a different switch. There might be better ways to do this, but since the way I'm going, I might figure this out later on. Right now, I'm just using, there's uh, 400 switches for you to use in this entire thing, if you noticed. I'm going to go back to that. There are 400... Hang on right now. 500, 500 switches. If you can't get through this entire, um, if you go through this entire game using all 500 switches, you've got a lot of switches used in your game. I haven't had that problem. I'm not even close to that. I'm not even close to 100 switches in my other game. And then you can test play. We can all, we're going to add some stuff to him later. Now, if you just wanted to show the level off, grab this. Of course, make sure to equip it to our test player. And does anyone, if you have any ideas on what our character should be called, give me a comment in the section down below. And we will take it into consideration and have it as his, and we'll see what's good for him. We've already seen that, so we don't need to see it. But for most people, they're going to want, okay, we'll click to see what this says. Because I put that in there. There'll be monsters through here and whatnot. Boom! Battle. Since he's probably gonna whip my butt. Yep, one hit. So level one, not happening. And we're gonna go back to the database. We're gonna sit there and we're gonna sit here and see what it will take for us to beat him with the weapon and probably give him some armor too. Why not? Um, level 2 will give us 14 hit points. I can already tell that's not going to do. 21. I'd say we'll probably have to... We'll probably have to knock him down, a, like, a little bit. Because I don't want it to be... It's your first board, but with the size that it is, you might be level 4 or 5 by the time you get to him. Maybe. Depends on how long it takes for him. We can test play this again. Depends on how long it takes for your character to actually, you know, grow up. Of course, there won't be any monsters in this area because this is a starting area. The monsters, of course, will start popping up here. But we'll get to more monster making here in a second. Let's see. We'll be able to survive. I know one hit. Did it just freeze on me? Do 13. Hey, we do survive a little bit more. And of course, if I want to, because this is a test play, I can force quit battle, and he didn't disappear. That's not supposed to happen. Justin. Justin. Huh. 
I've done this one multiple times. Why is he not disappearing? I've done this one. I've done it on the other one. No, I don't want to copy. Edit, edit, edit. Ah, uh, hmm. Because I know this. You want the switch. I had this guy. I had that all right. That's not the problem. Give me one second, guys. I need to see something here. Because I'm doing... It's just a mini boss battle to be able to help you get through. To get you through. And I was like, what am I missing? I know. You battle him. You beat him. And then that's supposed to be it. I've done this before. Hmm. That's right, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I put it on switch. Oh, I know what I did wrong. That's right. I know what I did wrong. Because I don't have the second page on here. You gotta add a page. There'll be no graphic. You want past judgment on. That's what I did wrong. Yeah, past judgment needs to be off, so you don't have that. And then you go to switch on, and then put number two. Because if you do number one, if I was to use switch one, which is on a different one, if I was to use switch one, as soon as that one was over with, this character would already be gone by the time you got here. Which, we're not going to do that. So now, we can test play. Ah, that's the wrong one. Got the second page. Always remember the second page if you're going to make a boss or a character like this. After this, like, I don't even need that because we're going to do something here in a second. And we're going to go up here. We'll add a dialogue to him later. Say I beat him, and he disappears, and boom. And move on, and you're out of here as soon as we get to that part of the map, which we haven't started yet. Now, back to database, where we're going to pick some monsters out for this part of the game. We're not worrying about the town today, we're not worrying about any of that. We're going to go back to database, and we're going to go for the monsters. And he's only going to be used at one time. Now we can go to samples, and we're going to get bats, I think. We want bats, rats, or... We want bat, um, snakes, and we're going to take the rat, but we're not going to use the rat. We're actually going to go to graphics and do killer bees instead, because we're in woods. So instead of that, and look at all the different graphics they have, like killer bee, killer plant, a mimic, which will come in handy later down the line. We got snakes, spider. Scorpion, Cockatrice, Imp, will o -Wisp, Magic Part, Hellhound, Cobalt, and a bunch of other ones that, like, those are the ones that they had samples of and ones that they didn't, like a Vampire, Warriors, which they do have samples of, I know that. And if we want to change the color, there are four different color sets, which I like the red one. He's all angry and missed and mad and everything. And we're going to call this... I'm not going to call it Killer Bee, man. Heh, <laughs> Furious Bee. And that is how you do that. 24 HP, uh, I don't know. Hack, we're going to knock down to 10. Alright. 10 experience, 10 and 18 gold, that sounds good. Now we gotta look at the other two, and 21 attack, 13 attack. Definitely need to have stuff that we can beat, so. Take them down to 10. Attack down to 3. We'll worry about that later. Like, we'll come back and figure all that stuff out later. We're just And then, in order for these things to group up, you need to make a group of them. So, say we want to do just 
that. And there you go. Or if you want to make multiples, which you go over to formation, you grab two, three, four, five, or six. And that's just for the yellow blocks. If you want to use the blue blocks, which was the skeleton and all those other ones, you need these ones, but you can also pair with the yellow blocks. And of course, these are the big boss ones that you can have if you want to as well. But we're just going to do that. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I noticed that making them random. Then we're going to go snake and bat. From that one. You want about three or four of these if you want to, really. Simply because... I'll show you in a second. Four. There we go. Bat. Snake. B. And another snake. Want to do that. Because basically what you're coming down here is you're going to come out here, go to encounter chip, which is the chips that you make so encounters can happen. And then you go, say, bat here, bat and snake here, and you go for this one. This is the rare one, so it wouldn't show up all the time. If you think back about it, anybody who plays Pokemon, this is how this has basically been set up since the dawn of time for them. Something like this. You want to name it. Uh... We'll just do that because we don't really need to worry about the name. Background, you want the forest one. And of course, background music, we're just going to do battle one. Confirm. And then what you can do is come out here. Oh, uh, you can just do it that way. Place encounter chips. And these are going to go in origin forest. And if you want to, like, if you want to, you can go like this and just be like all over. If you want to, but then also, if you want to, you can go, let me just check with this. That, but we're going to just do everything up until there. We're not going to put any in here because this is the healing spot. And they're not going to show up, but like, I'm going to make sure they show up a little bit more frequently. I'll show you that too. Or you can do it faster by doing this. And we're going to stop right about here because the other guy's going to be, the bad guy's going to be there, the miscreant that you have to deal with. Now for this, we're going to stop right here. There's not going to be any... Well, hold on. In this section, because that, of course, I mean, it won't happen when you're doing the... the event when the event happens but just for the heck of it and then we're not we're gonna put some here and here just in case and there's those I'm not gonna be any in here because this of course is going to be your exit so you're not gonna want to sit there and battle anybody anyway and there's not gonna be any here because this is where you start you have your encounter chest which you can have I guess a multitude of encounter chips do here There's, there's multiple options. You can have multiple types of enemies. And if you really wanted to, you could just have three or four different types of bats if you wanted to and everything. So we are going to come out. We're going to test play this. I might have to put some other armor in here just to see how well it goes. And since there are enemies now, definitely want to grab this. I have him at level 3, so he should be fine. Walk down. No enemies are popping up because it, it's it. I gotta make it a lot more frequent because that's just too not not enough. No special skills, which we'll need to work on in a later video. Yeah, see, that didn't do nothing. That's done. Okay. That's going to be good for level 2 probably then. He's going to beat me, so we'll just beat that. And in order for them to show up a little bit more, we got to come back out to the database, go to Encounter Chip. 
click on this and counter chip, and then you want to come down to appearance rate right here, appear rate. And it's infrequent, which means they barely show up. But you want to do well for this. We're definitely going to do someone often. I don't think often is going to be good or not good. But that looks like we are out of time for the day. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for future videos. We are going to do this as daily as possible as we build this game up. We are um, midway through the first level. We are probably going to add some more detail to this level before we go any further with it. But until then, my name is The France. Make sure to leave your suggestions in the comment section below on what you, what the character's name should be. We still have a town that could be used some names. We need a name for the town if there hasn't been a good one yet. And I will see you guys next time. And thanks for watching.